Anarchy. It's a situation in which a government either does not exist or has no authority or control over the people. Sounds pretty simple, right? What if I were to tell you that anarchy is way more than just a simple concept that is all about chaos and revolution? It actually has many different definitions that sometimes even contradict each other. Is it even possible to apply such a complicated concept to a video game like Minecraft? And of course, we all know to be 2 t the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. But is it really an anarchy server? And is it even possible to have a server in Minecraft that is true anarchy? To answer all your questions, we have to dive deeper into the actual meaning of anarchy. In this video, I will answer the long-lasting question, can true anarchy exist in Minecraft? And I will shortly address Fast Vincent's video about it. Furthermore, I will explain the concept of anarchy as easily as possible. And sorry if anything I say is not completely correct, I am no political scientist. I have literally studied it for like one year in college. So yeah, I'm doing my best here. People often think that anarchy is a monolithic concept. The only thing you need is no government and boom, you have anarchy. It's actually way more nuanced than that. Anarchist ideologies go from extreme individualism to complete collectivism. There's many branches of anarchist thought and every branch has their own branches inside of it. This video is not meant to go over every anarchist ideology. But I think it's important to talk about the most well-known one by Pierre-Joseph Proudhon to give an example of how different it is from what most people think anarchy is about. Anarchy was first mentioned in the English language in 1539 but wasn't popularized until 1840 by Pierre-Joseph Proudhon. He is seen as the father of anarchism and is also the first person to call themselves an anarchist. So if any of you fatherless kids need someone to look up to, well, there you go. Proudhon founded his own ideological branch of anarchism called mutualism. It's a system of exchange in which individuals and groups can trade with each other without exploitation and without trying to make an unjust profit. Proudhon believed that the humans don't need a government to keep them in line, but that every human is naturally inclined to act in a way that is ethical and just. Of course, looking at an energy server's chat for one minute will counter this belief in my opinion. But this ideology of his doesn't sound like the anarchy that causes destruction and chaos at all, right? And one second, he does believe in a revolution, but not the one you're thinking of. He thinks that a social, peaceful revolution is possible. And he's not the only one. Many prominent anarchist think tanks don't have aggressive revolutionary chaotic visions at all. And of course they question the status quo and want the world to be managed differently, but these guys are not screaming for an all-out revolution. There's also many other popular anarchist ideologies like philosophical anarchism, social anarchism, anarcho-communism and more. And then we have the post-classical ideologies like green anarchism, anarcho-feminism, crypto-anarchism and way more niche ones. Honestly, there's so much to learn about anarchy and so many philosophers that it would take you months to read and understand everything. Now, of course, there's still a minority of extremist anarchy groups who want to overthrow the government and have total chaos. But this is just a weird dystopian idea. And if I'm not wrong, this is called the insurrectionary anarchism. Uh, and yeah, these guys are weirdos, bro. <laughs> these are like the loudest groups always that reach the mainstream media by doing crazy shit. So when people say they want true anarchy in Minecraft, I'm guessing they mean the extreme vision of anarchy and not the regular almost wholesome ideologies. But is it even possible to achieve this? Well, no. And I don't think anyone really believes this to be even remotely possible. There are so many things that need to be restricted in a Minecraft anarchy server for the server to be able to exist. If you allow everyone to make a lag machine, then the server becomes unplayable. If you allow people to dox or DDoS players, then, well, those are just crimes. So, of course, you can't let that happen. Now, I wanted to see if anyone else had ever made a video about this topic. And then I saw Fast Vincent's video, where he talks about 2 t specifically. Is it true anarchy? He does make a good point in this video that says nobody wants true anarchy because the game would be unplayable. You can do everything you want within the boundaries of the server. He does mention other players who think that true anarchy ends when the server admin has to intervene and fix something. Neither he or I agree with this vision. Of course the admins should always try as hard as possible to only intervene when it is really needed. Something that Vincent does seem to miss is that he keeps holding on to this thing called true anarchy, which doesn't exist. 
because anarchy is not a simple concept with one meaning and interpretation. He also doesn't answer the question, does true anarchy exist in Minecraft? Well, that's because there is no such thing as true anarchy, at least not objectively, because what even is the truest and best anarchy form? You can't answer that question objectively, since it's always an opinion. So now let's talk about the debate between hacked anarchy and no hack anarchy. Subi2T is the most popular anarchy server in Minecraft. It allows everything within the obvious boundaries. Hacking is a big part of Subi2T and because of its popularity this set a big precedent that made Minecraft anarchy go hand in hand with hacking in Minecraft. Now of course that's fine right? But this is all by chance. There is a server only a year older called SimPVP that is a no-hack anarchy server. If this server had gained the same YouTube popularity as 2 t then everyone would just see no-hack anarchy as a norm for Minecraft anarchy. And 2 t would just be this weird niche place where everyone goes to hack. Now why bring this up? Because I get comments all the time of people calling no hack anarchy not true anarchy. It was literally one of those comments that inspired me to make this video. Earlier in the video we talked about the different ideologies of anarchy. All those forms of anarchy are still anarchy. So I don't see why no hack anarchy couldn't also be just a different form of anarchy. Anarchy is such a broad spectrum of different interpretations and I want people to realize that. Also on top of that, no hack anarchy in my opinion just makes more sense. No one has an actual advantage just like people would have in real life anarchy, right? Can you imagine that in real life anarchy people would just be flying around and using aimbots? Hacked anarchy becomes a competition for those who have the best hack, the newest exploit, the fastest dupe and it loses the essence of Minecraft in my opinion. When everyone is playing the same game with the same access to the same resources, everyone is equal and that is what real anarchists would believe in. Now of course feel free to enjoy whatever anarchy you like, but don't pretend that one anarchy is factually better than the other one. Your opinion on what you think anarchy should be is just an opinion. So to wrap it up, let's answer the question. Yes, anarchy can exist in Minecraft in different forms, of course, in the set boundaries. Of course, the anarchy that allows everything can't exist, but that is impossible. You always want certain restrictions to keep servers playable and to keep things healthy. But different forms of anarchy are still anarchy. Remember that. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video and want to hear more from me, subscribe and like, uh, join the Discord, of course, stay up to date with me and the latest news on what I'm working on. And don't forget that at the end of the day, we are arguing about the rules inside of a block game. How much does it really matter?